Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Lafi bin Muhammad And my partner lab is Muhammad Firdaus bin Jamaluddin Okay, today we will present about uh, Lab 1 For computer interfacing, about activities and intent In Android Studio So, okay over here The main activity Okay, right here we can see uh, The main activity uh, Use the extend that computability Okay, this is for the uh, For the write the message Okay, and then for the private edit text, uh, private edit text message, here we can see it is a variable for input, uh, for the send and reply. Okay, and then uh, over here, private uh, text view. Okay, this is for display the output. Okay. Okay, on here we can see the void on create. Okay, so what is function of the void on create? The void on create is just uh, the main function for the uh, activity main okay and then uh, what the function of find view by one by id so it is for uh, find the reference for edits the text for edit the header and message okay and then next to the void launch second activity okay right here uh, it is for the button uh, for the button to be function so right here uh, before before the pro before the program is run, okay. When we when we click the button, okay, it will show the button clicked. So we have known that the button have been function. So we can send the input to the uh, second class from the main uh, from the main activity. So then for the void activity result right here, it uh, use for handle the second activity data. And then uh, the message uh, will be update uh, with the new one. Okay. And then for the XML, okay, activity main. Uh, sorry, activity main XML. So uh, right here, uh, everything that uh, we have used to design at the layout, it will uh, shown right here. And uh, the, the the attribute that we also uh, setting at the design it also be uh, be viewed in in here lah. okay and then over here we can see uh, we can see also the text view the button function the edit text so the like example over here at the text view so what is the function of the red content so the red content is uh, for wrapping the message uh, to be uh, more more ID okay okay so then I will uh, give uh, to my partner for uh, represent about the second activity hi assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Fidah Bijamidin so basically on my task and I will explain uh, about the second activity dot Java file and also the activity second dot Java file which is a layout file so basically as we can see on the second activity dot Java which is we can you can see the, uh, the two uh, Java uh, access modifier, which is the public and also the private. So as we can see, uh, for the public uh, access modifier is the to define the key for the extra, and for the private uh, edit text, uh, we can see that the private uh, access modifier is to the holes of the edit text. So basically, we move on to the uh, we move on. Uh, to the next line, which is uh, intent, intent uh, equal to get intent, which is uh, this is for this is for the, the message from the uh, uh, main activity of Java, so we can display on the second activity of Java. So that's the point of it, and then we move on to the next line, which is uh, M, uh, M reply equal to find view by ID. Which is as we can see is a uh, reference to the edit text, uh, edit text seconds, and it also assigned to the private variable. And then uh, we go on to the public void, public void return reply, which is as you can see in ten in the reply on the line thirty three, which is uh, it's to uh, get uh, the response message, and also after that on the line uh, on the next line. Which is uh, we can carry out our response to our main activity. So basically, after we adjust uh, the code on the second activity of Java based on the 
based on the lab given to us and then we need to modify on the second or on the activity second dot xml okay you can show me the activity second dot xml so basically this is the layout of the second activity so which means we, uh, I, I just follow all the procedure and uh, give them from the task and we need to copy uh, a certain of the xml file from the main activity to the second activity but we just need to adjust on something like the android id which is we need to assign it to uh, our second activity so after we just adjust all of the attribute that require us to, uh, to modify it uh, we can run the program uh, successfully so i think you can run the whole program Okay, before before I run the word program, I will show about the Android manifest. What is Android manifest XML? So right here, the Android manifest XML is just used to uh, different which one the parent and which one the child. So like uh, like example, uh, which one is the parent and which one is the child? So the parent is the main activity and the child is the second activity. So okay, I will run this the the program. Okay. Okay, like example, I will use uh, Assalamualaikum and I will send it. Okay, and then it will go to the second activity that is uh, the child the child activity. So right here we can see the message received is Assalamualaikum and then we need to reply. Okay, Waalaikum Salam. So Waalaikum Salam reply. Okay. Okay, over here we can see the Waalaikum Salam has been uh, replied to the uh, main activity. So that's all the proceed. That's all the program. Okay, we will uh, go for the discussion and conclusion. Okay, along. Okay, from the discussion. From this lab, uh, we had no uh, basic skills of how using the Android Studio and making applications in Android phones. Android Studio is the official integrated development environment IDE for developing Android application. This is built on the IntelliJ IDEA, a Java-based integrated uh, development environment for software and includes its code editing and developer tools. Android also known as one of the large operation system in the world that friendly with people. So then, we've been helped by our research on how using Android Studio in developed and, and simple application to send and reply chat. Android Studio employs a Gradle-based build system, emulator, code template, and GitHub integration to allow application development within the Android operating system. Every Android Studio project includes one or more model, uh, modalities containing source code and source resources file. Android Apps module, library modules, and Google Apps Engine module are examples of these mod modalities. In designing the interface for the application, it's very easy, just need to drag and we can see on the blueprint sites what we have done. The code will be automatically built when we drag any, any design we want, so it helps us who beginners with this application. Then only need put coding at the Java part to activate all the buttons and any function. We included following the lab instruction. So as the conclusion, we had known how to use the Android Studio IDE and we also learned how to use the development process for building Android apps and create an Android project from a template. Next, we also got create a new activity in Android Studio and define parent and which one the child activity for app navigation. Other than that, we know how to start an activity with explicit intent. Last but not least, we learn how to pass data between each activity with an explicit intent. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you.